It was all smiles here at Salisbury Cathedral on Wednesday morning as their new dean was unveiled. Reverend Nick Papadopoulos worked at the cathedral more than 10 years ago and he says he's delighted to be back. I served here for four and a half years, um, 15 or 16 years ago, um, and I was very happy here. I fell in love with the cathedral then, uh, with which I had quite a lot of involvement. And so to return um, is, is wonderful. To return as Dean uh, is beyond wonderful. The appointment was approved by the Queen on Wednesday morning. And the Bishop of Salisbury says Nick's love for the area gave him the edge over the other candidates. We had really strong candidates to be Dean at Salisbury and Nick stood out because he loves the place, because he prays, because he's got excellent leadership qualities and we think that he will take this cathedral on sort of past its 800th birthday and into the next phase of what's needed. These are currently testing times for the city as it recovers from the alleged nerve agent attack on the former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. The bishop is hoping the news will be a morale boost for residents here in the city. Salisbury has been having a tough time. Uh, we are resilient. We are recovering. To get a bit of good news out just ahead of Easter, it's the nicest Easter present we could have had, and I hope it will lift everybody's spirits and point us forward. But the new dean is hoping the events which happened three weeks ago will be behind Salisbury when he takes over. I hope very much um, that the incidents of recent weeks will be well and truly behind us and behind the city. The most unique feature about this cathedral is its extraordinary spire, which, as, as we know, plunges heavenwards and points all of us um, to the promise of new life and new hope. So um, that's, what, that's what this place embodies now and I trust for many years to come. The bishop here in Salisbury was the main figure in the selection process to find a new dean. He says Reverend Papadopoulos will have to get to know the cathedral and the people in the city. He needs to engage with the cathedral and with the community around. So there are a lot of people to get to know. Uh, as was said by the acting dean, Ed Probert, there's a really great group of people working here. It's business as usual in every respect, but we do look forward to the new energy, insight and vision of a new dean. Reverend Papadopoulos will become the Dean of Salisbury in September this year, but before he can start the job, he'll have to tie up all his loose ends first. Back on the train to Canterbury um, today, where I still have a job to do, I have Easter to celebrate, and then, um, then uh, you know, a clearing of the desk and a handing on of uh, different bits of work and so on. Uh, so that I can finish uh, there and then all the all the chores of packing up a house and moving and uh, you know trying to have a holiday um, at some point in August and then unpacking uh, ready to start here in September. The people of Salisbury will have to wait until September to see their 81st Dean in action but with all the recent events going on in the city Wednesday saw it get a bit of good news. Daniel Padwick that's TV.